Today we are going to talk about your computer appears to be correctly configured but the device or resource is not responding. If you are facing such problems then we are going to show some methods to solve this problem. So let's get started then. In Windows 10 sometimes the internet connection problem occurs and it shows a message that your device is correctly configured but the device or resource is not responding. Initially, you can solve this problem by resetting your router. After this procedure, if the problem exists, you can try our methods to solve this problem. So, in our first method, we are going to try opening the control panel first. Step in the search bar control panel and open it. Then go to the network and internet. Then go to network and sharing center. Then click on the available network. After that, click on properties. Then find Internet Protocol version 4. Click on that. Go to the properties. Here, you have to select this obtain an IP address automatically. This radio checkbox. Most probably in your computer, it might be selected this, this option. Use the following IP addresses and there will be inputted some IP addresses manually so you have to and um, select the obtain automatically IP address and uh, underneath that again select the obtain DNS server address automatically then press OK and then again for the internet protocol version 6 go to properties the same process again and you have to select the obtain IPv6 address automatically and obtain the DNS server address automatically. Then press OK and close. And after that, try connecting your internet connection and hopefully it will solve your problem. However, if that doesn't solve your problem, you can try our next method which is using some commands through command prompt option. To do that, first of all, type in the search bar cmd and run it as administrator. In the window you have to type these commands and after each command you have to press enter. So first of all this one and press enter. To that this one then this one the next and the last one Okay, and then close the window, try restarting your computer and then try using that and see if the problem exists. However, after doing that CMD command prompt procedure, if the problem ex exists, then you can try our next method which is DNS server address input. Again, open the control panel by pressing Windows plus R and then type ncpa.cpl and press OK and it will open the network connections. Then right click on it, go to properties, then select the IPv4, then go to properties and select the obtain an IP address automatically and underneath that obtain, you have to use this one this time. Use the following DNS server addresses. For the preferred DNS server, type here Eight, 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 and the uh, alternate DNS server. Uh, you have to input this address: eight, eight, and four, four. After that, press OK. Again, for the IPv4 version six. Then 
in the alternate DNS server. I press OK. Just only uh, Internet Protocol version 4, you have to do that for that. Just IPv4 version 4. Then close. And after that, hopefully that will solve your problem. However, still the problem exists for your internet connection. Then you can try updating the network adapter driver. To do that, press Windows key plus R, open the run command, and then open device manager by pressing Dave ngmd.msc it will open the device manager then look at the network adapters the code properties it will open the device manager window and then look at the network adapter expand it you will find the connected networks and select your network then try to update the driver by clicking here and it will search for new updates for the driver now updating the driver hopefully it will solve your problem and then last but not least which is turning off the firewall to do that open the control panel by typing in the search bar then go to system and security and then windows defender firewall then on the right side click on the turn windows defender firewall on or off and then you have to turn off for the both network settings turn off and turn off and then press OK after that try to connect your internet connection and hopefully it will solve your problem so that's all for today hopefully this solves your problem that occurs with the message that your computer appears to be correctly configured but the device or resource is not responding so this is how you can solve this problem and so see you in your next video. Bye.